because that sure looks drilled to me looking at the inside of it I'll have to look at it under magnification but I find these pretty consistently and I'm right on an Indian site so it's not like a random drilled rock later some of you might like to see this look at this beaver trough coming out of here beavers are going up in under there's a beaver den up in under this tree root ball and this is where they're swimming in and out look at that that's one heck of a trough it's deep it's over my boots all right i'm walking a place that i find bottles on the river there's been a bunch of boat traffic and you can see the mud's washed out and there's an old bottle here all the glass is old oh, it's a it's like a pickle or an olive container it's not embossed but it's old i'm gonna take it it's all caked with mud i thought it was a beer but that's pretty nice it's an old that's an eight 1890s bottle it's blown and I'm old um, that ain't bad at least I got something on this little outing I don't find much over here but I do every now and then I'm gonna look the water on the way back sometimes I find them laying out in the water but you can see how that one's just washed out of this mud that's that'll turn purple too that's pretty cool. Later. There's that old pickle jar. I got the mud out of it and I just picked this up. It has a 23 on it. That's a top off an insulator. That would have been cool with the 23, but it's busted. Of course. I haven't never walked down this far. There's a little bit of glass here. I picked this up, so I'll look around. I'm not seeing much. Uh, all right, I'm in the Moka today. I've been out all morning. It's probably 2 o'clock. I've been out since like 8 o'clock. Looked a whole stretch of probably 20 miles on each side of the river and found one flake of flint. Almost all of it's like rip-wrapped and there's houses in it where I used to look when I was in high school. Almost all of the river's ruined on that stretch of river. It's hard to find sight. It just is. But when you get on a good one, it's worth it. Um, I'm going out here where I found stuff. Hopefully I can get something later. Um, I pulled up to look at this old dump. See all the glass in the water? Right here's a cobalt blue letter crock and look right here. Right by the boot. Man, that's nice. Look at that. It's a clear base one with a purple, beautiful purple patch on it. That's nice. Lay down. See, you can see here, I don't know if that's a marble or not. No, it's just a rock. But look in the water here. See the the crocs and stuff all busted up. There's a dump here. And I find stuff in the wash every now and then. That's a pretty good find. There's glass coming out everywhere. Some of it's real old. See there's a blue thing. Another piece of a croc. That's a cobalt blue one. But if I see anything else, I'll get back. You can see how good this looks. See, there's a big piece of a, a crock with lettering on it. I'll get back if I see anything else. That's a pretty good find for just laying out. Later. Yeah, I just raked this out of the bank. You can see it says PBC. And it's Parkersburg, West Virginia Brewing Company. It's a crown top, but that's pre-prohibition. That's pretty nice. We'll be taking that later. Well, I'm on a new dump above where I found that marble and I just raked one out. It's right here. Oh man, it's nice. Oh, look at this. Look at that beauty. Cobalt blue. Clear base swirl. All right. There's old stuff in here. There's a crock sticking out right there but it's broke right there's the edge of it one of them small ones this is packed real tight i'm finding pieces of old beers you can see there's glass and stuff in here but that's a beauty for my frame this month look at that wow later all the glass in here is old this says hoster columbus ab company it's anheuser-busch i would guess um 
but that's old that's pre-prohibition it's got that real heavy seam up the side that's a shame that's break but you can see it's an old break um, there's a lot of glass in here and all of it's old there's no new crap so these two marbles I found are probably 30s 20s there's a little bit of newer stuff but most of it's stuff like that that's a shame but we got that Parkersburg Brewing Company one Look. Yeah, it wasn't doing too good airhead hunting. Every place is just messed up. But I got another marble. Huh. Looks like a vitro agate. It fell right out of the top. I cut this down and boom, another marble. Huh. That's a newer marble. Um, there's some newer bottles. Right here. And see, there's one of them blue jars. I just raked this one out, that screw top. I'd say that's 1940s. No, that's 1950. So the farther I go up the hill, there's some newer trash, but you can see there's lots of stuff in here. Not bad, third marble. Ooh, what's that? Uh, I thought that was a button or a coin, but it's like the top of a, a tube or something, paste. There ain't a lot of trash here and it's real packed clay, like hard stuff, but right on the bottom layer there's the old stuff. There's a salt glazed crock, it's a little one too. Probably said something on it, it would have been nice. I'm not going to stay too much longer, I'll be going to another dump tomorrow. Later. You got something showing up right here. I don't know if this is going to be whole or not, it feels broke maybe. I'll get it out, hold on. Yeah, it's busted. Yeah, I'll rake this out too. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. I looked for hours and didn't find nothing this morning looking for new spots. But I salvaged the day here on this little dump on the edge of the river. Got a nice Parkersburg Brewing Company beer bottle that you saw and three pretty nice marbles that are all three frameable and pretty. So I'll get back on my next one. I'll add clips to this. But there's a new place here to look. Um, the water needs to come up on it. It's real hard packed. After it gets wet, it'll be easier digging. I'll come back. I just picked up a little point by this rock here. Um, it's like a Madison. It's kind of crude. But it's, it's a whole point. There's some stuff on this place. I've never been here before. I just found this back here a few steps ago. And now I see a marble in the water. Yeah, it's uh, another flattened one. Huh. It's kind of odd. I'll get back at you. Now I'm on a new beach and there's a Pennsboro, or a Greensboro, Pennsylvania croc that would have been beautiful. Found it out in the water. Um, I found a piece off an old wheeling beer bottle too. Um, there's a, I'll have to come back when this is beat down a little bit it's all grown up after the frost there's an old house above me so there may just be some kind of a old dump in here someplace um, I will come back here for sure I found a few flakes of flint too there's an Indian site here too let me get my pocket there's one of them flake of gray. I found another little tiny finishing flake too. But there's definitely some potential here for bottles and arrowheads. Like I said, you can see everything's all grown up. It stinks. I'll get back. Definitely found some new places to look today. I got a late start on it. I'm going to have to be heading up the river. I've only surface hunted. I just picked this up. And that's gray Kashocht and Flint. And it's the edge at us. See, it's broke. I don't know if that's a little point or that's the tip of a larger point. It looks like a tip to me. Man, that's translucent, high quality stuff. It was just laying right here in the wash. I found multiple places to look. That one place had a dump, so, and I got that little black Madison point. I've only been out here for a few hours looking on places I've never looked before. I'm in the Mokai Mo Kai kayak, jet propelled. Um, I can move around pretty good in this, but I got two artifacts. Let's see. 
and I got flakes and stuff. See, there's a Madison made of black canola chert. It's got an irregular base on it, but it's perfect. It's not broke. You see, some of them are cruder. Um, but it's still a whole fun. It's pretty cool. Anyway. I'm on another new spot. You can see this place. I wish I could have sifted in that place. I found that black pentagon or black triangle today laying out, but I don't know who owns it and I gotta go home and look it up and then I've gotta call them and make sure that I can sift there. I can sift in the water but even before somebody owns the land. So out of respect I always ask. I always ask the landowner. Usually just go see them and take them like a nice bottle of whiskey or something if I think I'm gonna find points there. Um, that's usually how I operate on that. But I have permission on this place already. I called like five days ago and I haven't found a point here yet. But I just got my first point. I haven't really sifted. But do you see it? I got a pretty nice little point. It looks pentagonalish. It might even be an Amos. I don't know. I'll have to look at it. But it looks like a pentagonal dart point. It's right here. It's a pentagonal. And it's a nice one. It's a nice little pentagonal. You can tell by the base. Um, you can go back in my videos and watch. I show a bunch of them in a recent video. That's a pentagonal base. That's a nice little point. So I found several new places to look. I'm going to find more pentagonals and whatever else I find here. But that's a good find. Um, got two points today. And a broken one. And I haven't been out here real long. That's decent. Later. Yeah, I just found this laying here in the water. This is something wheeling and it's got a street address on it. 222. I can't tell what it is, but that would have been nice. Probably a druggist croc from the 1880s or before. 1870s, 1880s. That would have been awesome. You can see W H E E L. That would have been nice. Later. All right, this is what I'm doing today. I was looking for arrowheads for a little bit, but I came here, see all these cut foundation stones? They're sandstone foundation stones in the water. Most of them I can't handle, but there's one over here that I'm gonna try to get today. It's a beautiful stone. An old mason made it, probably by looking at the glass on the ground. I found that wheeling piece of that croc up a little farther. I'd say it's 1880s. See, here's salt glaze crockery. This would be an awesome place to melt detect. All this stuff's laying on the base clay. See, there's another cut stain. Um, see if I see any more. See, there's another piece of a salt glaze croc right there. I don't see nothing coming out of the bank. Most of it's been eroded. See, there's another cut foundation stain there. Um, there's a bunch of stuff dumped in here, but I got one picked out here and I'm gonna try to get it in the boat, get back to the truck. It'll take me all day. See, there's another one right there, but look at this beauty. Look at all the chisel marks on it. It's probably a step, but I'm not sure. I can pick it up. You can see how thick it is, but look at the work on that. It's all hand chiseled. Um, I'm gonna get it from my parents' yard. It's a beautiful stain. It's worth at least a hundred dollars. So I'm gonna get my towel here and lay it right in here and get up the road. It's gonna take me hours to get it in the truck and get it back. And but that's what I'm doing today. That's a beautiful stain for a yard. I'll get back when I get it home. Well, I'm at about the limit on the weight in this boat. I'm gonna have to take it easy. Stay in shallow water. I'll get back when I get home. It's a nice stone. I'm making it. I'm almost back to my truck. Alright. I got this rock up here. Man. 
talk about a backbreaker. I'd say it weighs 300. See how big it is. It's a big cut bra, but I got it. It's gonna look nice at the house. I'll get back when I get it all cleaned up and stuff. Let yeah, you can see I got this back here. I'm gonna take it. My mom's real happy. You don't see foundation stains like that for free too often dumped on the river look at all the chisel marks i'll clean it up with water too see you can see the other side's even got more chisel marks but man i wish i had this dolly on the river i had to pick that thing up carry it on my shoulder out to the water to the boat got scratched all up from it man it almost sunk my boot <laughs> all right my mom says she wants this out front you see what i'm doing this is the side it'll go it looks like well no, this other side is the best. This is how I clean these things, and you can see I've hauled out tons of these things. Here's more of them. You've seen me find them in dumps. Look at all these big flat rocks and stuff. I'll get back when I get this cleaned up. I'm going to use this. All right, I got this all scrubbed up with that scrub brush. Look at these chisel marks. A mason made this, you know, 140 to 60 years ago, I would guess. These crocs kind of deep that were in there. Look at this. That's a beauty. It's as good as an airhead, in my opinion. A real nice airhead. Wonder how long it took to make this. Look at these chisel marks. All hand done. Just a beautiful stand. Alright, you can see right off the, the steps of this old house. I got this in here. These are all found eight or street pavers I found. I found both of these cut foundation stands on video. Um, that's like one for a, one of these. It's just a section of one. One of these cut gutter drains. You can see all the this stuff salvaged. Here's another rock I just recently got. It's right there. My mom puts pots and stuff on it. But look how nice this looks. Look at that chiseling. It's as good as an airhead. Right in here, she can put pots. I think she's gonna put pumpkins on that for a trick or treat. Kids come to the front gate here. Help! it was a success on this hunt, getting that and getting it home. Um, wish I was 10 years younger. I could get two of them today. This did me in. But man, that's nice. Look at all these little chisel marks where a guy's hand cut that out of a big piece of sandstone. That's awesome, folks. I love it. Yep, another success. Later. Well, here's my buddy. He's been terrorizing all day. Now get up here. Look at him. What a maniac. Are you a maniac? You're not now get off of me. Look at look at what I gotta deal with. The squirrel maniac. What's going on, squirrel man? He's been in his cage. He's been driving me nuts while I've been trying to work on a video. He's getting some watermelon here. He's eating a little of it. But he's not eating much. What are you doing? You sniffing? I like you too, buddy. I knew you people would want to see him. He's doing good, but he's driving me nuts. You biting me? What's going on here? For all you new subscribers, this is my pet squirrel, Squirrel Man. What are you doing? What? Here, you want a piece? Yeah, he's going to have his watermelon now. He loves it. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to take a rest. That rock put the hammer on me. Look at him. He likes that. But I tell you what, he's driving me nuts. He's woke me up at, before daylight the last, I don't know, three days. Scratching on the door wanting me to play with him. Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>